okay so we have done this one first bot first <laughs> first workflow created now the tag when file is uploaded to a certain folder and set and send it to a certain email uh -huh. and send that file to a certain email in case it is not clear fine so there's a folder imagine there's a folder that you want uh, i don't know really important data and when some uh, other automation or some worker uploads a file there you want it automatically immediately be sent to a gmail address okay so that's the scenario that we are now trying to automate great let's go to the workflows workflows back to canvas workflows add a workflow and this one will be drive to uh, gmail udemy english tutorial right i think i don't need any credentials to create any new credentials because drive and gmail we already have the credentials created so we will start now with a google drive google drive trigger and there are two types of triggers changes on a specific file or changes involving a specific folder that's what we want that when in a folder there is any change create delete update uh yeah create delete update mm, we detect the, the event okay the credentials are these ones okay google drive in fact i will change the name so that we find it mm -hmm. it was google drive this one i'll change the name gmail api udemy english tutorial so that will make it easier for me to find it and google drive this one google drive udemy english tutorial yeah that will be that will make my life much more easier uh gmail okay so let's back let's go back to the workflow drive to gmail the credential yeah that's the right credential and every the folder mm, okay i will create a folder i'll go back i'll go to that google drive okay and i will create a folder called mm, or important right important okay that's a folder called important um i go so now now this is connecting with my google drive so in theory i should be able to see all the folders exactly important that's the folder watch for file created updated folder created folder updated uh, uh, file created okay when a file is created and options if i want to filter only some certain type of uh, of files but no i want all of the files so no options right i will not test it yet because i haven't uploaded any file but that will be the first step the first step then we need to, to download that file how can we download the file and then we need to send it by gmail Mm, and there is a google drive option called uh, operation download a file you see download a file great again we select the credentials now this is you see how fast this goes once you like when you get the dynamics how and it's not that complicated because all the options are there displayed and the uh, resource a file drive folder no it's a file operation download it and then uh, i will now execute the previous notes to see in which part we can find the name of the of the file error ah there is an error because i guess that no data yeah there is no data of course because i haven't uploaded any file well give me a moment i will upload a file to that google drive one second so I have uploaded an MP, the same PDF than before. Okay, let's try again. Again, this 
if can read the file yeah now yes look now it was read it was able to read something and here i should see somewhere on the left a property called schema id should be something like id or something like download address mm, web content link permissions id file from list select file from list by url or by id by id okay by id and where is the id where is the id of the file kind file extension oh, control f id 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 here it is okay here is the id so i drag it json.id great um and then let's execute it and then it tells me where should i store the binary look at the binary and i call it uh, the name of the property where the binary file will be stored will be the property data okay we could call it file if we wanted but why to make if they suggest to use data you see now that now it's in file okay let's leave it as data and that's fine for me execute node and here we have it the file great so we downloaded it and now we have to send it we have to send it before we were uh, credentials udemy and i want to send to uh subject hello there is an important file that you should see or i would put this in the message and really important okay and in the options i'll put attachments attachment add an attachment and the field name of the attachment data this should be the same one that you see here okay should be the same one let's try this now and let's check my gmail my gmail and here we have it really important really important hello here's an important file that you should see and the file to download it great fantastic you see you have another workflow um another workflow ready and we took eight minutes eight minutes <laughs> of course like, like i'm not gonna test them all because well, I, well they work you see but this if um if we leave them as active okay you can try you can you can see that if you leave them as active and you upload a file in a matter of in less than a minute you should see that you should receive that gmail to the account that you specified to the address that you specified here with that um with that uh, uh gmail attached and the sender the sender will be the the gmail that used the um, the the credentials so in this case the sender it's the same one than the receiver right it doesn't matter you know because i use the same account for the um, for the google for the api same services and credentials and all of that okay so just remember that whichever gmail you used for that uh, api and services will be the gmail that will be in charge of sending that and the, the receiver we have specified the receiver in this field okay great